treasure hunt. It is a lovely sunny day. Granny and Grandpa Pig have made a treasure hunt in their garden for Pepper and George. Grandpa Pig is wearing a pirate hat. Ahoy there, me hearties, says Grandpa Pig. Let's search for buried treasure. George puts on a pirate hat. Now he is Captain George. There is an X on the map. It shows where the treasure is. It's a bit difficult to read, says Pepper. She is holding the map upside down. Pepper finds the first clue. It is a piece of paper inside a bottle. It's a message in a bottle, says Pepper. It's a message from a pirate, says Grandpa Pig. He says you have to follow the arrows. Pepper is confused. What does the pirate mean? Captain George has found the second clue. There are some sticks on the ground in the shape of arrows. Look, calls Pepper. The arrows point this way. Pepper and Captain George follow the arrows. The arrows lead Pepper and Captain George through the garden. Up and down and round and round, searching for treasure is very exciting. Pepper spots something at the end of the trail. Could it be the next clue? Look, George, cries Pepper, I found a key. Now you have to find the treasure chest it unlocks, says Granny Pig. Pepper and Captain George look for the next clue, but there isn't one. Have another look at the map, suggests Granny Pig. The map says they need to find two apple trees. The treasure is buried in a spot between them. The treasure must be very close now. Pepper has found the spot. The treasure must be here, she tells everyone. Let's take a look, says Daddy Pig. He starts to dig a hole. The spade has hit something hard. Daddy Pig has found the treasure chest. Wow, shouts Pepper. I've got the key to open it. Everyone joins Pepper and Captain George. They can't wait to see what's inside the chest. The treasure chest is full of shiny coins. Gold, cries Daddy Pig. Better, says Grandpa Pig. Chocolate. Pepper and Captain George agree that chocolate is much better than gold, especially when there's enough for everyone. (laughs) 